October 13th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Steve is here in Smash Ultimate. Okay, 9.0 is available. So let's update. Huh? Oh my gosh, Steve broke Smash. There he is, Steve here to rock the block. Steve! I don't know if I can ever get used to that. Okay, have to check out the teabag game. Seems pretty strong. <laughs> Now, to use this blocked when you're in the air, you just press B, or you can like hold and walk. And it uses um, your resources in order. From dirt to wood, stone, iron. Now, to mine for resources, you don't just press B, because nothing's coming up. Even if you mash. So what you have to do is you have to hold down B. And then as I'm getting more resources, I use that resource that I just got. Now there are six different resources you can dig for. They are dirt, stone, iron, redstone, gold, and diamond. So when the match starts, you start off with the wooden items. You have the shovel, axe, pickaxe, and sword. And to upgrade, you just need to find the best next item. And when you craft for these items... You will get your shovel, axe, pickaxe, and sword all replaced with that item. And then let's say you break the sword and you go over and you have gold. If you get that gold, then you'll have a gold sword and you still have the diamond pickaxe, shovel, axe, like whichever items you don't break, you'll still keep those items. Now we'll talk about the resources needed for Steve's other crafts. So the anvil uses one iron. So there's one iron and no more. TNT is a little tricky. For this, it looked like I needed three dirt, two wood, four iron, and one redstone. So I'm gonna show it slowly so you can see what items I mined. Right now I have no resources, so I'm gonna start mining and take note of the items I get. Okay, so that's two dirt, one wood, two iron, and one redstone. It's not enough. One more wood, one more iron. Still not enough. There's dirt, iron, and it's enough. And down there, it looks like I have... That's either one wood or... No, or uh, no resources at all because when you have no resources there's still that little like brown colored thing even when you have no resources okay next is the mine cart and that just uses your dirt wood stone and iron same resources used to make the blocks and once again it uses it in order dirt first then your wood then stone and finally uses the iron and then once you're out and if you don't have any resources he just makes this noise here's the wood 18.2 on the smash attack stone 19.8, a little more. Iron. 21.7. A 
gold. 18, yeah, how disappointing. Now for the diamond. A big 24.3 damage. So we're just going to use smash attacks to measure. And that looks like 3 for the wood. And if you don't have anything, then you just hit him with your fist. Okay. Let's see how durable this stone is. Oh, only three for the stone also. Okay, iron. This should be a bit more durable. Okay, four for the iron. The gold. Two! Wow, seems gold is not very good, it's just fast. Now time for the diamond. And four for the diamond as well. Okay, so in summary... Wood, three smash attacks, stone, three, iron can take four, gold is two, and diamond is four. Then as you can see, like the neutral attack and the aerials are a lot more durable, can take more than just four hits before they break. Now here's the blocks you have at the beginning of a match. You end up with 18 dirt, 9 wood, and 3 iron. Now you can't use that iron to make an iron weapon, but that's the resources you can use for blocks at the beginning of a match. Now to keep a kind of a track of your blocks, you can watch that little meter above Steve's picture. And as you use the blocks, you'll see like a little piece taken out. It is kind of hard to see, because it's really tiny, you you cannot tell, unless you have like a telescope for one of your eyes. <laughs> you can just zoom in and see the pixels. And then after you lose a stock, uh, you still have your same resources left. Or at least in training mode. Okay, now Steve would be too OP if he could use his blocks anywhere, so they had to put a limit on him. So vertical, like from the stage, five, six. Okay, there's the limit, six. And you can see when it reaches a limit, it blinks purple on the corner. All right, now let's see for off stage how low we can go. Okay, one, two, three, four, Five. Okay, so the lowest you can go is five blocks below the stage. And then off the stage, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So five on the horizontal as well. Now we saw in the trailer they built a little house which disintegrates too fast if it's just one person, but I'm wondering if it can be used as a barrier. And they bounced off, so it can be used as a barrier. So maybe if you lay a little wall, you could protect yourself from dying. Okay, and what about if the barrier is weaker or lower like this one? Okay, and we saw the blocks were actually destroyed by the explosion. So can only be barrier if it's not destroyed by the hitbox. 
And that just about covers everything about mining and crafting for Steve and Smash Ultimate. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.